So we're looking at raising algebraic expressions to powers of 2, 3, 4 and so on. So it's really important when you're doing something like this to remember that not only is the a being squared but the 4 is being squared as well. So this really means, because of the brackets, 4 squared times a squared. So it's equal to 16 a squared. And we could have a negative inside the bracket. So we could have that sort of thing. So negative 5d squared. So again, we could write this out more laboriously like this. And the important thing here to remember is that a negative times a negative is a positive. So although we started off with negative 5d being squared, because it's an even power, we're going to end up with a positive answer. Negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. So the answer there is 25d squared. Okay, let's uh, look at some bigger powers. So if we've got 3n to the power of 4. Noticing I'm still using the brackets there, so that means 3 to the power of 4 multiplying n to the power of 4. So 3 to the power of 4 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, or 9 squared even, so 81 n to the 4. And now let's have a negative, but this time we're going to have an odd power. So negative 2p to the power of 5. So we have got negative 2 to the power of 5 and p to the power of 5. So this time there are an odd number of negatives. So it's still going to be a negative answer because a negative times a negative is a positive. So we've got two pairs of negatives that cancel each other out, but we've got one left over, haven't we? So we've got minus and then 2 to the power of 5 is 32. And then we've got p to the 5. The really important thing with these kind of things is not to mix them up with something like this. So the first one we had was 4a squared, wasn't it? That is not the same as 4, I'm going to write it out very clearly, it's not the same as 4 plus a squared. Because of the course that would be 4 plus a times 4 plus a. So that would be 4 fours are 16. So that's giving us the 4 times 4. It will also be 4 times a, so plus 4a. And then we'd have the a times 4, so another 4a. And last of all, the a multiplying the a. So that's a squared. So comparing it with the first line of this page where we had 4a all squared, giving us 16a squared, we have here got a 16 and an a squared, but they're not attached to each other, they're not multiplying each other. And we also have 4a and 4a. So this turns out to be 16 plus 8a plus a squared. So these things are really different. So it's really important that when you've got an expand and simplify sort of situation that you know what you're trying to do. So 4 plus a all squared is not the same as 4a all squared.